Hey guys, I uh, just want to make a quick video on this subject. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the people in the community talking about this. Um, this picture of present toys, apparently they're making Ghostbusters uh, one six figures. And there's a picture going around, apparently, of their Winston figure. And I have looked at this picture very closely with, this is my Winston from Blitzway. And I've looked at this picture very closely for a while, looked at every single detail. I am 99% sure the body in the picture, not the head, I'll get to that in a second, but the body of the picture is a Blitzway figure. It is, I see nothing, literally nothing different. I've looked to the tiniest detail on all the stitching everywhere, down to the detail on the walkie-talkie, the walkie-talkie holder, the, um, I forget what this, the gizmo thing. Um, even the hose, everything looks identical. The gloves he's wearing is the identical um, blitz, uh, gloves to the Blitzway. So I'm not saying Present Toys isn't making Ghostbuster figures. That I'm not, I don't know. I don't, you know. Um, I'm sure they are. But the, in, that, in that one picture that's going around the internet... That's a Blitzway um, figure. If that's not a Blitzway figure, damn. Like, then they're doing something right because they have every single detail down to the stitching of the Blitzway figure. So, the body, I am almost 100% sure, is a Blitzway figure. Now, the head, it looks like in the picture his mouth is open. But honestly, if you look closely, it literally could still be this head. It's so blurred in the picture. But you see how, you know, how big his mouth is. You know, Winston has, Winston has a big mouth, you know, big lips. But if you look really closely, it, that even the head could be, still could be this Blitzway head. And maybe they blurred it for copyright reasons. Um, either way, it also could not be. It also could be mouth open. But the body... They could be using their head on the Blitzway body, but that body in that picture is Blitzway. Uh, you can't, you're not going to change, change my mind on that. Now, but either way, if they're making it, awesome. Um, I'll even pick, I'll, I'll even pick them up because I'm a sucker for anything Ghostbusters. Because I have the '84 uh, Blitzway car, and I'm also getting the Afterlife version, so. I would pick those up and even match those with my Afterlife version, even though they're not old and all that stuff, I know. But anything, like I said, I'm a sucker for anything Ghostbusters. So I'll still pick them up if they make them. Um, and that's cool and everything, but I was just I just had to put my two cents in because everyone's saying they know for sure that body is not Blitzway. It's Blitzway, 100%. Down to the stitching on the name. The uh, material they're using on the name tag. That's a Blitzway figure in that picture. Um, anyways, 99% sure. That's that's my two cents on that. Now, another thing people are saying is, okay, even if Present Toys does okay with the figures and they do a decent job, how are they going to make the Proton Packs look as good as the Blitzway ones? Um, now, here, I got two Proton Packs here. One of them is Blitzway. And one of them is Mattel. One of them went with the 12 inch Mattel figures that they made. And if you've, if you've seen those, they were horrible. I mean, you want to talk about dolls? Like people will call the Hot Toy figures or Blitzway figures dolls. These are as real as you get compared to the Mattel figures. I mean, those were truly were dolls. Um, I wish I still had mine. To show you the difference. Um, and I'm not using my computer to make this. I'm, I'm just filming this with my iPhone right now. So I can't like insert pictures. But anyways. The 12 inch figures that Mattel made were dolls. The um, the suits weren't bad at all. The suits they did a good job. Minus the elbow pads. The elbow pads were 100% horrible. Just the flight suit itself was decent. Everything else was eh. Um, but. I was pleasantly surprised with their proton packs. Now, so everyone's saying, well, they're not gonna present toys won't make good proton packs. 
I feel like if Mattel could do as decent job as they did, Present Toys should be able to. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know anything about Present Toys. So I could be talking on my ass. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. So one of these is Blitzway. One of these are Mattel. Um, quickly, just decide off the top of your head, which one do you think is Blitzway? Which one do you think is Mattel? So the left one is Blitzway and this one is Mattel. And they both have things right and they both have things wrong. They both have things that are better than the other. Um, so let's just like run through it real quick. The, what stands out to me the most right off the bat is the Neutrino wand. The Neutrino wand on the Blitz, or sorry, on the Mattel is not near as good as the Neutrino wand on the Blitzway. On top of that, this, um, it's like soft rubber plastic, or maybe even just rubber itself on the handle grips. Almost the whole thing feels rubberish. And it's oversized. It's too fat, too thick. Um, so right off the bat, the Neutrino wand goes to the Blitzway. The details on the gun also goes to Blitzway, even though they still did a pretty damn good job on the Mattel wand. But the Blitzway obviously have every little detail, every um, um, switch looks real, every label looks real, or more movie accurate. Uh, but still, still, Mattel is not far off. Um, the clippered valves on the wands definitely look more realistic on the Blitzway. The handles look more realistic, obviously. And this, the Blitzway comes with a Neutrino wand end sticking out. And then on the Mattel, it's stuck in. Mine, this one broke. It's kind of just hanging there right now. Um, but still, for a Mattel figure that goes a quarter of the price, if that, um, well, when they were new, when they were new, I should say, quarter of the price of the, of the, uh, Blitzway figures, not bad. Now, some of the other differences I see is you got the green wire here. Now, the green color on the Mattel is way more correct than the color on the Blitzway. Um, the color on the crank um, knob here, that should be gray. That kind of looks like blue. They use like a bluish color on the Mattel. Great, it looks correct on the Blitzway. Um, it is more weathered on the Mattel, which I think looks a little better. There's more weather, weathering going on. Um, and then like the actual, um, God, I can't think of words right now. The texture, texturing on the, uh, on this part of the Proton Pack actually looks better than the Blitzway. Um, another thing that stands out the most to me is the ribbon cable. So on the Blitzway, they have way more of a correct ribbon cable and they have it swirling, you know, tightly uh, twisted together like it is in the movies. And on the Maddie, it's just flat going up and like that. Now, so the twisting is more accurate. Twisting and colors, well, I guess the colors are... Actually, to be honest with you, Actually, the coloring, in a way, is actually more um, better on the Mattel. But the Blitzway is missing the C-clamp right here. See how the ribbon goes up to the left and then into the C-clamp and then into the pack like that? That's how it should be. The Blitzway doesn't have the C-clamp at all for the ribbon to come up and go into and then into the back of the Proton Pack. So that's a point for Mattel. Um... Or the other things that I realized. The lens on the Mattel, that's just a clear lens. And then it's obviously way better looking on the Blitzway with the red lenses. Um, I don't have, well, actually, I do have batteries in this one. But the Mattel even has lights that go around like that that are red. The Blitzway does the same thing, but also has the blue light, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure the blue light goes up in here. I've never put batteries into this because it's really fragile. That's, that's one thing about the Blitzway figures. 
and accessories. Everything is very fragile. A lot of people don't know that or mention that, but it is very fragile. It's not like Hot Toys. Hot Toys, I would say, is a winner when it comes to things not being broken like easily. Anyways, the Blitzway figures, everything seems to be very easy to break. So be very, very careful with them. Uh, so I never put batteries into this, but the light, I know the red Cyclone, Cyclone Tron lights go around and I'm pretty sure that blue light and the uh, power cell goes up and down as well. Uh, so the lights go to Blitzway. Uh, clipper valve, still pretty decent here on the pack, but still a little better on Blitzway. They have all the labels, all the labels are correct. Again, you know, you compare this label to this label, it's way better on Blitzway. Okay, now Blitzway, on Mattel, they have the proper stickers here, and Blitzway don't have any stickers there. So they're missing those stickers, and this is, so this is more movie accurate here. And they even have the red uh, line that goes around, even though the red line is supposed to be at the end of the of the canister here, not near the not near the body of the proton pack. But they still have it there. They have the red line with the stickers. Blitzway don't have any of those details there. Um, what else do I see? What else do I see? The resistor is more detailed here on the Blitzway than it is on the Mattel, but it's still there. I mean, it's still amazing what Mattel did. You know, when I think of Mattel, I think of really low-end, like, toys, you know? And when you compare a Mattel pack to a Blitzway, unless you're a Ghostbuster freak like me, you don't really, you can't, you wouldn't even know. You really wouldn't even know the details. Um, besides maybe these red lens not being here on, on these lights. But, I mean, to me... To me, the biggest thing to stand out is the red lights here. Um, Blitzway did that way better. The ribbon cable. They both have flaws because Blitzway doesn't have the clamp to run the ribbon cable through. If they did that, this would be um, really amazing. But they have the clamp, but they didn't twist the ribbon cable. Uh, so to me, it's the lights, the ribbon cables, and the wands are the biggest differences. Other than that, you took if you just took away the Blitzway... And said, hey, this is a six six scale uh, proton pack. Um, you wouldn't really think of it, you know. Oh, another thing is the hose. The Naturno one hoses definitely looks better on Blitzway. Um, this is like a spring. It's literally like a metal spring. And then Blitzway is just a piece of rubber, obviously. Um now, a lot of people are also saying, well, the Blitzway comes with Alice frames. So does the Mattel. They come with the exact same thing. They got the Alice frames. Now, when it comes to the straps, the uh, Blitzway looks definitely more movie accurate, a little bit more realistic than these gaudy things. But they're still there. Um, you got the Alice frames with the straps, still there, removable. And all that. Um, this color on here, I was all white. That's because I had to glue something on because I broke it a <laughs> um, long, long time ago. And I just haven't cleaned that up from the residue of the glue. But, ah, shit. Um, yeah, so anyways, and I don't know anything about present toys. So, like, again, I could be talking to my ass. I don't know their capabilities. But I'm just throwing it out there that if Mattel can create a six scale proton pack almost as good, I mean, it to me, it holds up to the Blitzway. It isn't the Blitzway, and there's many things that are flawed, but I think it still holds up to the Blitzway. And I don't think anyone would really, besides the wand, the wand is the, wand is the real downfall. Um, but other than that, I think it holds up. So who knows? But that picture that they're showing, at least the one, I'm sure there's other pictures I have not seen, but the picture they're showing the most with the blurred face of Winston, 99% sure that is a Blitzway body. Um, and I don't know if they're trying to say it's their body and suit or whatever, but I can't find any. Literally the only, only thing I can find that's different is the coloring on this little flap right here. It's like a flap that comes off with Velcro. 
it looks a little yellowed, but that literally could be just yellowing from the figure itself. But it looks more all, more yellow color, off color than the rest of the suit. And I don't really see that difference on this one. But other than that, if that if the suit and the belt and the gizmo and the walkie-talkie and all that stuff, and even the hose, everything looks 100% identical in that picture to the Blitzway. So, again, I'm not saying Present Toys isn't making Ghostbuster figures or anything. I have no idea. But I just, I, I see, I've seen too many um, influencers see... Uh, or creators, YouTube creators, whatever, um, say that that's present toys. I just, I don't think it is. I really don't. Um, and I know the one that he held looked bigger, but I have the belt pretty tight on this guy, which tightens the suit in. Um, that's the only reason why that looks skinnier. So who knows? Who knows, guys? But I just want to throw it out there that this is a Mattel pack, and they did a great job for the price that they charged for this. And obviously Blitzway is way better, but then again, you get for what you're paying for. So, um, and also these connections I noticed, these connections like this uh, gray hose connection is way better than their like, their connection there. But again, nitpicking, but side by side, it's, it's, it's not that bad at all. Especially since this, the Mattel still lights, lights up. Um, but all right, guys, I just thought I'd give my two cents in. I'm going to go get uh, Winston back to his Ecto-1. I think he's missing her right now. So missing the other three guys. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.